I have nothing in this hand? Nothing in this hand. Do you believe I can give you this card? Do you need to pay anything? Nope, it's free. Yeah. In fact, you get free things. Mm -hmm. Like starting with that, that's for you. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's so Let cool. me show you another trick. Read the triangles out loud. Once what? in a lifetime. No, no, no. Let's uh, right, start left to right. Fairies in the spring, bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. Do you believe I deceived you? It doesn't say any of those things. This is Paris in the, the spring, bird in the, the hand, once in a, a lifetime. Is that crazy? That was there the whole time. You see it? You see the double words? No. You don't see oh, it? Yeah. Paris in the, the spring bird in the, the hand. It's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. Once in a. She's, right. yeah. she, she's seen this. Okay, really? let, let me show you another magic trick, okay? Uh -huh. You see how easily you can be deceived, right? Are you a good person? I don't know. You don't know? Let's take a test. Have you ever told a lie? Oh, yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Liar. So, what are you? Liar. Have you ever taken something that does not belong to you ever? I... Candy, an answer from somebody's test. Yeah. What do you call people who steal? Thief. So what are you? Thief. No, you're a lying thief. Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? No. So if you died today, if God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Should God let guilty people into heaven? No. Where would you have gone had you died yesterday? You said it, I didn't. Do you realize I didn't tell you anything? I've only asked you questions. Everything I said was a question. But do you know, it's not too late for you. There's still a way for you to go to heaven. Do you know what God did for you? Let me go. Besides that, He paid the penalty for your sins. Like in other words, you committed a crime, Jesus did the time. Okay? Jesus died on the cross because He was being punished for your sins and mine. And then he rose again on the third day, right? So, if you'll repent of your sins and believe in Jesus, you can be forgiven. Here's what Jesus said. He who believes in me has everlasting life. So what do you have to do? Believe me. Jesus, right? Acts 16.31 in the Bible says this. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Do you know what day you're going to die? So it's imp important to make sure that you're going to heaven, right? So what's your first name? Vaisha. Say that. Vaisha. Spell that for me. V-Y-S-H-A-K. Vaisha. Yeah. Okay, nice. So Vaisha, do you believe the gospel, the good news that Jesus died for you? I just shared it with you. Yeah. Are you ready to lay down your old life? The old Vaisha should die, but the new Vaisha should come alive, pick up his cross and follow Jesus. Are you ready to do that? You don't have to do anything weird. I'm going to ask you four questions. If you answer them correctly, I'll pray for you. And then if you truly made a commitment to follow Jesus and believe in Jesus, you're born again. And what, if you're truly born again, you will change. You will lead a new life. You won't, the old Vaishak will start to die and die. The new Vaishak will, will come alive and be, he'll follow Jesus no matter where Jesus takes him. Are you ready to do that? Okay. It's okay. I'll ask you four questions to see how we, how we go, okay? Do you agree that you've sinned against God? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross? Yes. Do you believe that He then rose again on the third day? Yes. yes. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Please receive Vaishak into your kingdom. Please save him because he just heard the gospel. He believes the gospel. Would you please fill him with the Holy Spirit? Cleanse his life of all sin. And whenever he fails, show him his failure and cleanse him again and again until he becomes more and more like Jesus every day. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all there is to it, Vaishak. So, um, I want to share something with you about what it means to be a Christian. First, I'm going to start with an easy phrase. Read, pray, and obey every day. Read your Bible every day, pray to God every day, and obey God every day, every day. Read, pray, and obey every day. Okay, you can remember that, right? And then um, we'll start obeying, besides reading, praying, and obeying. Where do you go to church? Do you already go to a church? You, would you like to? I don't, I don't have anybody here. We, we love you. We can take you into a church. What, what city do you live in? Gardena. 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 It's very close. Hope Chapel. You know what? Um, we're going to exchange information and 
and we'll take you to Hope Chapel. Is that okay? Um, and then we're going to put you into home fellowship so you can meet more, more Christians and they can grow you spiritually because you are a physical being. Said, I'm really far away from home for a long time. Okay, and you have a new family. You just got born into a new family. It's really hard like, to be alone here. I've been almost like six years alone. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Do you know that hell, the reason why hell exists is because sin is destructive to everybody around you and when if you ever end up in hell you'll be by yourself okay forever yeah. so when you're born into a new family immediately you have new brothers and sisters and that's god immediately starting to reverse no, the effects of sin so i want to connect you with hope chapel a small group in hope chapel they become your new family you have people you can call, you can even go out and spend time with during the week. Okay? Yeah. Because it's more than just... You said I've been stuck in my place for a long time. We don't want that for you. Yeah. It's not healthy. It's, it's actually bad for your physical, emotional, and spiritual health to be alone. Okay? So... So the, uh, the community is like... If I, I don't know, is it the awkward or It's like a, the age group... It like, doesn't matter. It's all age groups. Okay. They have age-specific groups and they have groups for everybody. Okay. I mean, like I have any peers, so I can just, you know. They have definitely people in your age. What are you about? Mid thirties? He looks about sixty. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, almost there. I mean, that's as hard as sixty. No, there are like young adult groups that you could fit into perfectly. We'll connect you. Later that same day, Vaishak attended his first church service, took his first communion, was connected to Hope Chapel, invited to other church functions, and made new friends.